Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario. We are now going to open up Pandora's box. Oh, <laughs> silly me. I mean, dry, dry ruins, of course. <laughs> it could, it, what could be the similarity between those two things? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, lovely viewers, last time I'm going to turn the game audio down in my headphones so that you don't hear an echoey weird shitstorm. <laughs> We're going to finally end this chapter two, or at least, you know, start the climax. By going in the dry, dry ruins and smashing everyone there in the face. Well, of course. How, how else will we do it? You'll notice as we get closer to the ruins, the pulsar stone will blink faster and faster. Fuck all of you. I'm not fighting a single one of you. You're all bastards. Leave me be. I fought so many of you, you hardly give me experience anyway. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's get around these assholes. It's a little bit faster. Cooper's so excited, he can't stop flailing his arms. Oh, <laughs> accidentally ran into one of those jerks. And I'm gonna, I guess, throw away a dried fruit, because I have so many of them anyway. They keep popping up. At this rate, what's the use? What's the damn use? <gasps> oh. Oh, who the thunk? By the way, I was just doing that to show you how fast it's blinking. I don't know, I wanted to. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Oh, the best sense. The best logic. Here we come. They will rise from the sands. Give some uh, King Tut vibes over here. There's Colorado. <laughs> I'm not like he's scared enough to notice that something's happening, but he never thinks, "Huh, maybe if I go towards that, I'll be the ruins I've spent my entire archaeological, you know, trip searching for." Most of us thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have given that stone to a fat Italian man. What was I thinking? Actually, no, he's probably cheering us not. He knows we're about to exterminate every every evil jerk in here. Anyway, I'm going to heal up for because I used 3 FP in that fight. And then, uh, I just wanted to show this off. You know how it's nighttime. It's so badass right now. Alright, get off the item screen, you idiot. And then, literally, if you step step off the little hexagon here... Here you go back onto it. Bam! Daytime! <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna do some item manage, but before I actually enter the ruins, I hardly need this many dried fruits. You know, uh, I'm not that much of a fan, to be honest. They're, they're only worth five coins, and there's a goddamn reason for that, by the way. <laughs> you know, uh, I think the, uh, as crappy as this shop, this shop should be the one where you get the most when you sell things to. But it's actually, I believe, the one in Toad Town, where most times in the game, you'll get the best price for selling them at the Toad Town shop. But it should be this shop, because this shop is clearly the shittiest. I mean, you have a dusty hammer, an item, which literally you throw, you use it to damage one enemy with one hit point on a turn. That's the most counterproductive thing I could ever imagine. There's no use for it. Remorseless king of the desert. Who dares to let me free? Okay, I said I was gonna voice act or... Right, well, voice acting's fun, but reading? No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and then there's the dry Room, which heals 1 HP. I mean... <laughs> it'd be better if the shopkeeper just walked over to me and just pissed on my foot. That'd be, uh, that would be more productive to me. Anyway. <laughs> like, oh, thank you for this wonderful item. Thank God I had this. This is gonna save my life one day. Alright, this spell is going to increase my attack power. There you go. Here we are. Shell toss. These pokey mummies act similarly to regular pokies. Uh, the only real difference is they're poisonous. And blue. But also poisonous. So they have a chip. If you don't block, and sometimes maybe even if you do. No, I think if you do, you don't get it. But poison goes into effect after they attack you. And I'm not sure these guys are able to call in reinforcements like the other ones. I That might not be a thing. They're still cross-eyed. Gobario just explained the Pokies to us. And there we go. For some reason, I got bad at blocking that attack. So you got to see the poison go into effect. It's not like Pokemon. You don't walk around going, Oh, sh oh, uh, <laughs> heart block. No, um, after the battle is over, it wears off. Although I don't... You, no, you haven't seen poison yet. We have not seen poison yet in this game. <laughs> I just entered the <laughs> the ruins, and these enemies are already so below me. 
level wise that I already get one star point each. Oh, uh, that life stream is there. Be sad if I had to use it here. This isn't really the hardest. Oh yeah, um, I have some badge rearrangement to do because I had that stupid speedy spin badge on just for getting through that huge desert. <laughs> that guy didn't even know what hit him. He just walked out. Bam! Turtle shell to the knees. And now we're going to smash his knees with a hammer. And he's dead. Isn't that the best kind of story? And you'll notice that the geometrical patterns... Oh my god, I'm terrible at blocking that now. I used to be good. Oh, by the way, Refresh Cures Poison as well as giving 5 HP, 5 FP. The geometrical patterns around the battle scene here are indicative of three items we need in this room to get to the final boss. And you don't really have to worry about it too much until you get to the... You know, very far through the runes. Anyway, not important. You'll notice I had a payoff badge on. A badge gets you a lot of coins. That's mostly because I'm going to be paying a lot of money to that Ralph guy in Toad Town. It's a badge shop for badges. Yeah, that guy. Because uh, his badges get really expensive and I want to buy them all. So, you can see how that... But apparently I'm switching to Spike Shield, which is actually kind of good for this dungeon because there are some spiked enemies. Uh, these guys, although really I don't want to jump on them, so I'm not really going to be doing that. But there's another... Although I'm showing off that I can while failing for some reason to fucking finish the job. What am I thinking? Anyway, I'm getting... Man, I'm getting mad just watching myself. What? Thank you. Jeez, what do I have damage dodge for on for anyway? There we go. Now I'm showing myself not failing at that because I pissed myself off and I was determined to redeem myself. And we have one guy left. What will he do? Ha! Not a thing. You know what's going to do a damn thing? This is going to do a damn thing! I'm going to charge up my star power there. That's that's what I meant. That's exactly what I was expecting my former self to do. Yes, that's why I got so hyped. Exactly. I was so ex- Oh, by the way. When they're- Oh, wow. I did block that. By the way, when there's- When they only have one bit left, that's, that's their attack. Same for the regular Pokies, too. I don't even think they can call reinforcements at that point because they can't, like, sway back and forth the way they're supposed to. It's kind of funny. Oh, and Cooper hits off one of their bits when he hits them, even if he doesn't kill them, so... That's really fun. Doesn't happen with the hammer or anything else. Ruins key! Oh, I wonder if that sand trickling down is a hint. Nah, never! Never would be a thing. Nintendo's not into doing that. Nah. <laughs> A, per a precursor to <laughs> future events? Nah, never. Not a thing. No. Okay, yeah, here we are. We're making the sand drip down. And it's gonna be our way to walk across to the other doorway, you should say. No, you cannot fall down that hole. Oh. What did, What was that pronunciation? Wow, tongue tied a little bit there. Oh, God, people are gonna have a riot in the comments. Yeah, I mean, I, they would have. Anyway, watch this, <laughs> which they know. Anyway, <laughs> you can't fall down the hole, although it would be fun. I, s I haven't even started drinking yet. I swore to myself I was going to drink during a Paper Mario Carpentry just for fun, and I haven't even done it yet, and I'm already slurring my speech. What is this? Uh, like, most because I, you know, I don't drink it all. Okay, so these are Buzzy Beetles. They're like, uh, now that I think about it, I don't think the spike tops are in here. I think it's just the Buzzy Beetles. And the Pokies are the only really spiked enemies. If the spike tops aren't here, why do I have the spike shield badge on? You idiot! Oh my. I was thinking, oh well, uh. <laughs> well, you got it in here. Normally in a dungeon, when you get an item in there, you're supposed to use it. <laughs> no, I'm just a f an idiot, aren't I? Hello. Well, I guess if you wanted the power jump and you have the power smash badge, which I don't think we even have at this point. You could power jump a pokey if you really wanted to. Because you could kill it in one hit with a power jump. So I guess that's why you might want to. But that's really not my strategy here. You know, My strategy is Quake Hammer Power Shell. Mostly. And, you know. Either way. It's certainly not involving using FP to power jump anyone. That's kind of... Although, would you? Because I just want to kill everyone. I don't want to kill one guy in one hit. I want to kill everyone in... Well, one hit, one me and one Cooper hit. You know what I mean. One turn, as I should say. Ah, oh, yes, I should say. Yes. 
And we're gonna drain this sand. We're gonna get a little surprise out of this one. As we fill that little corridor of sand. And boom, star piece. For doing absolutely nothing other than what we were supposed to be doing anyway. Nintendo. <laughs> Rewarding inadequacy since I'm just kidding. Although sometimes, you know, the games are really easy. That's kind of the joke I was going for. Anyway, that fire is made of paper. Can you say? Apparently, I can't either. Uh, what's the word? A paradox. There, paradox. Para Can you say paradox? Oh, fuck me. Anyway, Cooper killed that guy. To oh, well, I guess I'm killing both in one hit. Going all out with the FP now, because I recently upped it. And anyway, and nine star points, I'm gonna be up uh, uploading. Yeah, and nine star points, I will upload this video. No, and nine uh, star points, I will be upgrading again anyway, and it'll heal me. So that block we can't open yet, but don't worry. Before the end of this ruins, oh, we will. And up there is also something we need the uh, need to be able to break stone blocks to get at. So I'm just showing it off. I'm not gonna do bother hitting that switch right now because. Pointless. Oh no! It's like a chapter one, falling for a trap I saw being planned, except this time it was falling for a trap that I knew was a trap, but you know, I see it planned and. Where is this commentary going? I have no idea. Someone! <laughs> Turn off the windshield wipers, they don't help, they're just making things worse. Alright, we're gonna kill that guy. And then we're gonna kill this guy. You know, at that point, why didn't I just kill them both, Power Shell, Hammer, and the other one? Oh, well, I guess that's why, because I knew it didn't matter. Am I really refreshing right now? Oh, I know why. You know, okay, so basically what I was doing is, when I can kill the guy on, with Cooper on that turn anyway, I refresh, and then, you know, when I have extra turns, I charge it up, you know. And especially when I have damage dodge on and they can't do anything to me, I really abuse that star power to heal. I mostly did that in the desert when I was fighting a million guys at once. I'm not really going to have to do that here. Because this game is for kids and the ruins not that hard. Anyway. Oh, this is why I love the Quake This is why the Quake Hammer is part of my strategy, too. Because those assholes are up on the ceiling. And you can't jump on those guys when they're on the ceiling. Can't hammer them. Cooper can't attack them. The Mario can't headbox them. The only guy who would be able to hit them is Paracarry. Paracarry would have to do one of his moves to get that guy off the ceiling in the first place. Now he's in the air and now I can jump on him. Now I can do a lot of wonderful stuff. But first, let's tattle him. The swooper. And fun fact, we're gonna see two forms of this asshole. Uh it's gonna be stronger. We're seeing him now in chapter two. We'll also be seeing him in not spoiling it! Ha <laughs> I thought I got you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's half dead. Might as well finish the job with the classic jump. Classic jump, classic death. Oh yeah, Gypsy, you know what I love. Oh, you know when I need you, baby. Yeah! Nine to seven. Almost there. Will I will I upgrade before I leave this room? Continue after these uh, after this commercial break to find out. No, there's no commercial breaks here. I mean, unless you two put one of those skip video out. Actually, no, I think I turned those off. Uh, which may or may not be pointless, but <laughs> that'd be funny if I said that and then literally <laughs> when I was like. After this commercial break, and it literally by chance it just did it then. It would be wonderful, it would be hilarious, it would be fantastic. I think you can actually control it too. You can actually make it. Alright, so these guys just hit you. It's just a boom hit. But I believe the second form of these guys actually suck the health out of you in the way that fuzzies do. But the way you block them is how you block jungle fuzz uh, forest fuzzies, which are the ones in chapter 3. Which is the chapter that comes next. Did I spoil it? Too fucking bad. <laughs> I did spoil the swoopers, so I'm gonna spoil the fuzzies. How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna change up some badges here, because I just increased my BP with that lovely upgrade. Hey, that was the answer to the question. Yes, I did. I'm putting on speedy spin just because I have one BP left. Eh, might as well. Power Bounce is a wonderful badge that I have, but don't have on. That I'm going to be showing off a lot later. In fact, I think I use it for bosses. And maybe for this boss. Because, uh... Especially the way I get... Um... Attack increase things later. With a certain party member and a certain... No, I don't use that stupid charge badge. Never mind. Anyway. 
And when I get upgrades to my boots, which you might think is a spoiler, but it's really not, seeing as what you're going to see in five seconds would probably give it away. Uh, that power bounce gets really broken really fast. It's really powerful if you're good enough at it. And if you're not good at it, <laughs> there's a badge called Dodge Master, which we won't see probably till like chapter four. That's you, when Ralph usually has it there. But basically it means if you suck at the action command, that that badge is kind of a crutch that kind of makes the action command more forgiving of your timing. Uh, doesn't work always. And Power Bounce has a cap. If you do it, like, especially for bosses, if you do it a certain number of times... Okay, so on normal enemies, I don't think there's a cap, but if you're fighting a boss, it only lets you power bounce so many times before it's like, yeah, fuck you, and it makes you, you know, fall down. And there's a way to tell whether you missed or whether you reached the cap. I think it literally says miss if you, you know, don't make the action command during the power bounce. <laughs> I love this badge. Let me get to it after this explanation. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, if not, it doesn't say miss. This badge, literally, it's so well hidden, to, to my mind anyway. I never noticed it when I was a kid until, like, I went back. Literally, all it does is make you walk fucking slow. It's worth zero BP, because no one would use BP to use it anyway. Literally, you can literally just walk slow by only moving the joystick a little bit. Why would you want to? <laughs> stone hammer, we get where our hammer increases and we can break stone bricks anyway. And now I'm, I think I'm gonna... Like, oh, I'm so happy I have this badge. Like, I can get it because, you know, if you're walking by a sleeping enemy, which is gonna happen later, and you walk slow, you don't wake it. But you can literally just tip the joystick just a little bit. I mean, what is it, for people who suck at using joysticks? <laughs> is that... Another crutch badge. But literally, it's so well hidden. It's behind an invisible wall. It's in this... It's in a fucking dark room with a spotlight shining on it. And it's this silly, ridiculous little slow go badge. I love it. It's, it is the best thing in this room by far. We got the artifact. Uh, it's just an archaeological thing. Boom, who will we give that to? I have no idea. Anyway, we, we didn't get this before because we didn't have the stone hammer. So now, I'm going to take out Bomb X, because I know what's coming next. And I am going to break that. And I'm going to first strike this guy with Bomb X, because... Why wouldn't I? There we go. Stone Chomp. Bomb X is perfect against these guys, although I am going to tattle them, because I'm anal retentive about that kind of thing. At least in this LP. Uh, in real life, I don't care. I never tattle anything. Uh, oh well, in the prologue I tile, then I get tired of it and I just never do it again. And I never even bring Gubario out again after that. You know, the only reason you saw... <laughs> the only reason you're seeing Gubario in this LP past chapter 1 is literally because I, I, I'm tattling everything. For your sake, for your, the viewer's sake. But I think I'm gonna try, but it's not gonna do anything. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Cooper because that's who I'm gonna have after this fight anyway. And man, I sucked at blocking that. And he's dead. He has a really high defense. Or does he? Wait, why am I doing three damage then? I just tell him. I wasn't actually paying attention. You, the viewer, you could go back and look at the footage and see what Kumbara said his defense was. I thought it would be a high defense. Or maybe I'm thinking of a certain other enemy we may or may not be seeing. You know what they should have in this menu, though? A tattle log. Where you would see everything you've ever tattled. You see, that would be a reason to, to use Gumbario. Just for that completionist st standpoint. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna obviously... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that was so cringy. Oh, wow, I suck. And to top it off, I didn't even... Block it. By the way, you increase the power of your hammer, but not of Quake Hammer. Quake Hammer still does two damage. I don't know why Quake Hammer power doesn't increase when you get the new hammer, but that's just the way it is, apparently. Is it dumb? Yes. Will you be fine? Yes, you will be fine. This is a kid's game. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna blow this hole in the wall. Down in a hole. Feeling so cold. And here we are. I think it's old. Actually, I think I said the wrong line. Anyway. 
Come, Bombet wasn't there, so it didn't let me. Another super block, the second in the game. We found two in a row. How lucky are we? And since I'm going to be using him for the boss fight, spoilers. Para carry. This one goes to you, buddy. You incompetent mailman, you. <laughs> go piss off someone's dog. You've earned it. And we're going to go into this room. Oh, gee, I wonder if I'm going to have to fight something in this room. Surely you won't have to. Oh, look. Oh, no, my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. Were you surprised? I was surprised. You know, I mean, I suppose I see why someone would want to upgrade Bombette here just for power bomb, where you bomb every enemy on the ground and you could kill these guys in one hit. But what's the what really the point? All right, power jump was kind of useless there. Literally, power jump at this point does the same amount of damage as Stone Hammer. Look, that's because I have a more powerful hammer than a powerful boot. So. If you are following this, my gentle snowflakes. Okay. Once you get the stone hammer, use it if you can. And don't use power jump. Unless you have to. Like, in a certain boss fight that may or may not be the one coming up. Although right now, I don't know why I have power jump on now. It's kind of fucking stupid of me. I really should take it off and put it back on for the boss fight. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. Hindsight's 2020. Every day. And we're nearing the end of this dungeon. <laughs> You'll be in trouble. You'll have to fight a mediocre boss. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of fun. I don't mean that as a criticism of Nintendo. And, oh, oh, uh, can't get the key. What will I ever do? I'm almost surprised that that stone block didn't... <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because I played this game a million times and I know not, but... That they didn't put a stone chomp there when you hit that stone block. That would have been fun. <laughs> there we go. Did the back jump right that time. Didn't look like a tool that time. Wonderful. Reminds me of that Spider-Man 2 game. Where one of the hints is... Piscally Piccolo Dodge! No. It says, uh... Dodging is cool. <laughs> uh... Word to the wise, when thugs hit you, you look like a tool. <laughs> oh, and Genie, Gypsy, whatever you want to call her, she could decrease damage you receive too, as well as increase your attack, decrease star points, increase uh, hearts, flowers, coins after battle. You know, she could do a lot of lovely stuff. She's a very wonderful lady. A charming young lass. Oh, yes, very good, very well. And I'm happy to say I'm much more awake for this commentary section, which also means I'm a lot weirder. Or am I? Who knows? Here we are. Oh, now one of, the, one of these jerks is on the ceiling now. Hey, you're not a bat. <laughs> I'm a bat. Batman, you're not a bat. <laughs> you're drunk, go home. And I'm gonna show off Pair Carry's now increased attack. That's why I don't have Cooper out right now, because I just wanted to show it off. And uh, what am I gonna do here? What? I think I'm replenishing my FP just so that Paracarry can show off his stuff. I assume is what I'm doing. Why was I out? I wasn't even out. What am I? I, I don't know at this point. I just... I'm doing whatever the, heck, whatever the heck I want. Who even knows what I was to get at the time? I'm gonna drink some honey syrup now. That refund badge working its magic. Get that. <laughs> Discount, double check. No, 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 That discount on items. Oh, all I'm talking about is nonsense. Wait, was my coin... Oh, no, it's not. But it will be one time. I'm just waiting for my coin count to go to 666. And I'm gonna laugh my... I'm gonna laugh my butt off, because I know there's gonna be a few people in the Kawas who are uncomfortable, who are, you know, silly enough to care about that sort of thing. Anyway... <laughs> The Quake Hammer. I'm gonna show off all of his attacks at some point. Well, I've showed off his other one already, but like the increased power of it. But right now, I'm gonna show off his new attack, Air Lift. Which I'm never gonna use again because it literally just carries them out of battle and you never get star points for it. And why would I wanna use a move that doesn't get me star points? I, I, I'm not into getting gypped out of star points, everyone. I know, it's surprising, but, you know, if you're gonna know something about me, I don't like not getting experience. 
Which is funny, because I'm playing Pokemon Red again. And for celebration, after, on Giovanni's Raiden, his last Pokemon, I had my Snorlax self-destruct. <laughs> you know, as a sort of celebration of my 8th badge. And then I realized that because I didn't have anyone out in front to split EXP with, and Snorlax was fainted so he didn't get EXP, I literally lost all that Raiden's EXP. I was very upset. Oh, by the way, I got that key. After all that, I got the key. I got back here. It's all wonderful. We're gonna drop that sand through that hole. And we're gonna see something very revealing in a second. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, I wonder. Now, we got two of those three geometric shapes as jewels already. So you can probably see where this is going. This is a readout of where you have to place the, uh, for lack of a better word, gems in the I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing if Gubario is keen enough to pick up on this but apparently he's too dense to, to to talk about the statues behind me you know because in this room those same statues are there except for slots where the uh, carving should be and you have to read that and see where the jewels go and then go into the other room and put them where they belong but let's go get us this moon this <laughs> Pokemon moon version hey what do you know pick it up here Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight him with Paracarry this time. See what Shellshot does against these guys. You know, I, I would swear they have a defense. So let's see how much this does. It does five. He's dead. I think they might have a defense of zero then. And yeah, so the attack power of this hammer should be three because it was two before and increased by one. Yeah, they have zero defense. All right. That's weird. I For some reason, I just might be in a something passive, but I always thought they had a uh, defense there. Guess I was wrong. What do you know? What do you know? Alright. Now that we have the three stones, I believe it is time to test your might. Or my might. Or Mario's might. Whatever might you find walking along the street. Anyway, first it goes pyramid, then the second goes diamond. <laughs> they just happen to be in the order in my item menu. And then the crescent moon. Oh goodness me. What have I done? What Mario <laughs> Mario's hand motions look left less like he's waving them in terror and more like he's like Throwing buckets of water over his shoulder. <laughs> Funny animation. Anyway. Oh, look, an HP block. Wonderful. That's, uh, oh, and I already charged up my star power, so I don't have a problem with that. And there's nothing over here. And now we're going to get a very scary warning from this time. And then we're going to bid you adieu until the boss battle. Bye.